Hey guys, it's Ashlyn, and I'm back today with my bandana tutorial. Like I said yesterday, when I uploaded that video, I said I was going to be making one for sure next time, which I did follow through with that. Um, so today, sorry I'm out of breath. I don't know why. Um, I am making a bandana, though, tutorial. So, let's get started. So, the place that you get all these, if you're wondering, is Five and Below. They are only a dollar with seven cents tax for however many you get. It's not each, it's not per bandana, it's after every, every bandana. Like, after all of the bandanas you get. So, seven cents isn't really a big deal. So, basically a dollar each. And if this is new to you and you've never heard of this, I'd start out with two or three bandanas because if you don't like it, you don't want to have a bunch and waste your money. And you might want to give it to a friend or, or um, give it back and get your money back. But I'd still start out with like two or three. I started out with three, a white one, a black one, and a red one. And I liked it, so I got more. And so I do have a bright pink. That's my example. I have a faded blue, a black, a faded purple, a yellow, a white, a pink that's faded, though. And it may show up different in there, but believe me, like, it's like, like this color shows up brighter, but this one is a, like a peachier color. Um, dark blue and a green and lime green. So those are all my colors today. I'm just going to pick one. Don't really care which one I get because I have to show you. Okay. And I, they have plenty more there, like, of different colors, but I got, like, I don't know. I got a majority of them. Like, I did not get a teal one because they were out of stock when I went. I did not get a, they were also out of this one a couple days. I had to go back and get this one. Um, they, they were out of a couple of them. So, as you can see, this one is faded. They do have purples that are not faded, but I like the faded. It's up to you. Um, either way, is I think they're both pretty. Um, so you start off by looking at the faded side more and the darker side. The faded side, you can't really tell, but it is faded more than this side. And you won't be able to tell on my camera, but you can tell in real life. So um, you're just going to spread it out flat down on whatever surface you think you want to do it on. I'm doing it on my bed right now. Um, you lay out it out. You want solid side facing up, like darker side facing up. Um, no, you want faded side. Sorry, faded side. Faded side. Faded side. Faded side facing up. Sorry, I just did a couple of these, but got deleted. So you want to do faded side up, and you're going to fold it. I'll put the camera down more. The camera doesn't go down much more, but you gotta do like you're gonna take one of your sides, whatever side you want. You're going to fold that side to the side across from it, so diagonal, right? I think it's diagonal. Hopefully. You know what I mean. I mean like take this side over here and fold it to this side over here. So it's going to be like. And I'm, it's going to make a big triangle like this. It's going to be solid side down on both sides. And I want you to make sure that it it is not um, like like a lot of people like think it's okay for it to be just like not totally lined up on the side it has to be not perfect perfect but it has to be pretty well 
lined up on the sides. See, that's what I'm doing. And you want it to be a flat triangle. Um, now you want to get your foot ready. Your foot's going to have to do some work in this. So you're going to take this triangle and you're going to fold that down like that. You, depending on if you want your head being skinny or fat, I like mine skinnier because they fit better in your head, but it's your opinion. So if you want a skinny or fat one, that's how wide you're going to fold it. So if you want a fat one, fold it. This is like the widest I'd get if I were to do it. So I'd get like that wide by the most if you're going to do that. Um, the skinniest I'd get is like... I have to fold it with my foot. So that's like the skinniest I'd get with it. So I like mine personally like medium. I don't like it being too small, but I don't like it being too fat. So yet again, you're going to have to use your foot for this. So you're going to do however thick you want. You're going to roll that one time and put your foot down on it. And then smooth it out on the side. The sides may not be like as thick, like it might go like shorter down, but you need to smooth them out. And then after you smooth them out, you take it by your foot on each side, both hands next to your foot, and fold your next group. As I'm folding it, I'm going down the line underneath what I'm folding. I'm going down the line, and a lot of people mess up on this because they don't do, they fold it like way above, which it should be right in front of it. Because if you do it way above, it's going to have like these crease things and those are not crease. So you're just gonna keep on doing that all the way down the bandana to the top of the triangle part. And if you see it getting a little loose on the ends, then refold it, it's not that big of a deal. And some people like doing it like a circle, kind of. I personally don't because I just think that's cheap quality. But Once you get to the very end holding it, you're going to put your foot in the middle of it. By the way, when you were folding, I hope you put your hands on the sides and then folded and then ran them down. So then you get done, you keep your foot on the bottom sitting straight in the middle on the bottom. You're gonna take up your sides evenly and you're going to pull however big you think your head is. And you're going to do a bridge and double knot. The knot though is, could be different than yours. I want it to look like that kind of knot because it has to have the sides. So. Try to make it like a reasonable. I already have my head being on, so I'll take it off. Ow. Your hair does kind of get some funky, funky when you're doing this. And if you do it too small, then you'll be able to realize it. Mine was just perfect because. You want it to be a little hard to get on, so that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. So, it's like that. Um, I also did my pink one a little bigger than that. Um, some bandanas that you get are like longer, so you have a better chance of longer ones of these. But, I don't know if I like longer. And then there's my pink one, and I have a bunch more, but, yeah. So, I really hope you guys learned and enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about where to get these, what, whatever you want. Any questions about this tutorial or need me to make another video, just comment below. And I hope you guys give this video a thumbs up. And... Go up there and subscribe. And 
in the description I'll leave some people that I know that also do this. And some people like like taking this at the end because it's always flared up. So they like taking it and like spreading it out like Yeah. But you don't have to, it's up to you. Okay? So hope you guys enjoyed this video and press that thumbs up button. Comment any questions. Comment videos for next time. I do not know what to do next time. So comment some videos, ideas. Thank you and goodbye.